Now, will you imagine for once and for a while that this whole world is our home and it belongs to each one of us? Forget about the place you are right now living on. Forget about the countries and the borders that separate all of us. Just give yourself some moment to be curious for this life and look around the whole big blue sky which holds all of our secrets and our dream which we silently whisper just below it. Free yourself from all the reasons and excuses that have been stopping you from what you really want to do in life. We are just human beings and we all deserve to be free. We are just human beings and we all are here to have connection, to share our different perception, to appreciate every lifestyle, to cherish every season in here and to witness every corner of this world because it is our home and it belongs to each one of us. So let's encourage others and spread humanity once again and don't wait for nothing just step out and have little courage to be different. Just let go of all your self-doubt, your judgments, your insecurities. We are all new to this world and we must be ready to set new revolution a revolution of courage so be curious and travel the world among everything else the most beautiful part of this life is every simple moments every little time we share with our loved ones every little gossips and deep conversations an act of kindness, the journey, memories, well wishes and gratitude. Life is really short and we are not gonna live forever. This is the small traveling video to the northwest part of the country Nepal. We are going to Dolpo towards the magical safe Foxindo Lake. So we just arrived at Kodang. So we are again crossing one more suspense bridge and we are again taking one more jeep ride. Oh my god. But we are having a good time. Luffy. <laughs> 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 We still got distance to travel. We are not yet arrived at our destination. So, see you. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Yo, namaste. 
So after two long days traveling in bus, we finally reached to Dunya last night. And Dunya is like the starting point of check to say Foxendo. This is the starting point. And now everything has already started to change. The climate is getting cold. And I can see the lifestyle of people are different here. You know, the beliefs and religions are different. They still believe in superstition over here. Though we were too tired and weary from long traveling bus, we couldn't contain our excitement and we went out to see the life around the village. We found ourselves with the local kids who were playing joyfully and we decided to spend our time playing football in the street with them. Then we saw and we learned to feed the donkeys and the horses wandering at the back ends of their home. We got engaged ourselves with the shepherds who were making nails for the cattle and we shared some few words of struggle and more words of happiness of life with them. So we have begin our trekking from Dunai to Chepka. So let's do this. Ta <laughs> This guy is having the real fun. Yes, <laughs> 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 So it's been three hours that we have started our trekking from Dune and we have reached Kagini now and I haven't seen any single human beings going up to see Fox and Do. It's just us. But people are coming down from there. Anyway, the trekking trail to see Fox and Do is so beautiful guys. Like we're just walking at the river banks, crossing all those beautiful hills and horses. So, I can really describe this place in words like crossing beautiful settlements, different faces of people. It's really beautiful. You can see these houses 
it looks like abandoned place but I think the upper Dolpa people they settle down here in winter because it's really hard to bear the climate in winter season so they come down over here to settle down and hibernate for a month bringing their eggs and all their cattles and wait until the winters to pass down so on the way to Fox and like there's a place between Tepka and Kageni like you can find garden of marijuana like weed is everywhere you can find everywhere and yeah you can find it everywhere the fall is here and the faces of leaves and flowers are changing their colors as they never complain about the situation that keeps on changing forever one thing is certain that you can never get lonely when you are out in the woods leaving your footprint behind the beautiful rocks sharing humors breathing fresh air and facing the sunshine oh how we wish that the journey to never end and keep surprising us with all its magic and its authenticity out there in the woods we get lost only to find ourselves again oh, so it's been a while that we have arrived at Chepi, Chepi village so we could have arrived here earlier but we came here slowly you know we were clicking photographs and videos so it took us time so anyway we had a really good day and right now we are at on homestay we are sitting with granddad and grandmom in hot place drinking warm water so yeah so we'll start our trip tomorrow morning it's mid November and we're at the mountains. Good morning. Good morning. So we are at Chepka. Chepka village and it's 7 a.m. in the morning. This Chepka village has only nine houses or nine families like it's really small settlement right beside the river and you can see the sun has already rise after having breakfast we'll soon move ahead towards Tarna hotel and then finally to Fox and Do. see you So we have begun our trekking again from Sepka towards Foxindo. Ah, Baze, go go, I mean, Mati, Talma, eh? Baze, Chiso Bazena, Chiso Lagena. Thank you. 
Hello. 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 Up in the mountains and to the north, horses are not just an animal who carry the burden of daily life, but horses are the most admired companion of human beings. They make their living from them, they worship them, they eat together, they ride together, and indeed they live together. Personally, horses are my spirit animal and I really feel deep connection with them every time I get across them. Horses are the most beautiful and honest creature ever to walk down in this earth. So you make sure you find your prince who shall come in white horse to save you and takes you away to the fairyland. Yo, so it's been three hours that we have started our trek from Chepka to Rechi. Um, this is also a small village. Like there are only four to five families. So we are going towards our Zarna Hotel and then finally to Chef Foxundo. Look at this is the bag our Porter, Porter brothers used to carry. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> oh my god. It's like 30 to 40 kg. <laughs> Yo, one thing I really want to suggest every trick is that please don't litter around, don't throw this plastic in taking trial or anywhere else. Like it's not about educated or uneducated, it's not about civilized people, it's about common sense guys. Please don't throw any plastic, don't pollute this earth, don't do that, please. So we are almost at the altitude of 3200 meter. Uh, view has started to change. You can see the mountains around. And there is one hill post. You can see the hill post for me. And the school, that's the school. It's good to see school in such place hello bye that's it there are you going to go? what are you going to do? what are you going to do? what are you going to do? Costume 
Yo. So we're finally at Jarna Hotel. <laughs> and I'm really happy that we're so near to our final destination to our safe oxen though. It's almost three hours to reach there and we're gonna stay today here and we're gonna continue our journey tomorrow morning and in this trek one thing I saw many times that the travelers the trekkers are getting injured they are feeling so insecure about the journey like they don't have enough motivation to pursue the journey like the place like this really isolated place it's like nothing and everything at the same time we cannot find every facility we want to we cannot find the food we want to eat we cannot find the network to call home we cannot find a proper shelter to stay at night like you gonna make many sacrifices but it's really worth it guys it's really worth it see ya I am really delightful for my decision to stay here at Tarna Hotel where I found really caring and happy family who were truly excited to share some stories together. I am thankful towards Grandma Chewan Dolma and my little boy Balden where I kept my promise to meet him again in this life and travel to Upper Dolpa together. Guys, subscribe my channel. Gypsy Walk you can find in YouTube. Make sure you do. So, good morning. So, we are at Zarna Hotel and we are about to leave to Rigma Village to our safe fox and dog. And it's always been my fairy tale one of my biggest fantasy to ride horses in Himalayas in the mountain so I guess my dream is coming to you today we are going in horses and we're about to leave now I can't really express my emotion right now. Like, look at this. Vegetarian, look at this. View. This is really a dream. If you ever wonder where the heaven lies, then guys, come to Nepal, come to Dolpa. Welcome to Safe Oxendo. Oh, Fuchi, sure, sure, sure. Oh, good boy, good boy. Oh, so we have arrived at Ringma Village to Safe Oxendo. It's just 10 minutes from here. Look at this beauty.
how would it feel to leave trace of your soul and to touch the untouched land up so much near to the Tibetan plateau? Ringma village is decorated peacefully to the valley surrounded by the mountains, forest, wisdom and divergent beliefs of people towards life. The old shrines and monasteries, sweet smell of incense and the waving prayer flags which seems to wash away all the negative energy from the village. Who would have imagined to witness the huge gigantic magical lake which is more clear and blue than the sky itself. As we stare to it for a while, we would totally get drunk with ecstasy and attain strong desire to get dissolved in it. You feel like you have nothing more to achieve and nothing else to lose. Like an old love story who waits too long for your arrival and then someday you return to it only to find out how much you have been missing its presence and its beauty. Up in there, there are only few rules to follow and the rule is to follow your heart. Believe yourself and to live every single moment of your life as it passes quickly than you ever know. Life in Se Foxendo is pretty unique and simple. The only thing people think about is harvesting the food for them and for the cattle. They wake up with their prayers, they believe in peace and happiness. They have enough time to give importance to what people have to talk about and they have enough strength to walk at high altitude than most of us can ever imagine. Dolpa is one of the most beautiful land in this earth. Once you decided to step through it, it's almost impossible to get this place out of your mind and your soul. This is the one of the places in this whole world that will definitely change your whole life and your insight that you see around yourself. You might have heard what may lies beyond that hills, beside that river, above that mountain and behind that land and that settlement. The answer is maybe just another hills, another river, another mountain and different land and yet another unexplored settlement.